Howdy! My name is Kelly Johnson and I work with the PEER program at the College of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences here at Texas A&M University. And we've put together a series of training videos to help you with your educational endeavors. So today, one of our veterinarian technicians here at the vet school, Holly Callis, is going to demonstrate the restraint used to radiograph the dog. Um, restraint is a big thing in radiology. We do most of our exams on our small animal patients on tables, so it's extremely important to restrain the animals well so they don't jump off the tables, get themselves hurt, anything like that. Most of our patients are fully awake when we do um, the radiographs on them. So um, we, we obviously have human restraint. Most of the time the animals are just held by their, their forelimbs, um, their hind limbs and forelimbs. You have two people typically helping to hold an animal. Um, most of our radiographs are done in lateral recumbency or dorsal recumbency, so that would be on their backs. Again, you have someone on the front end and back end holding on to them. When an animal is anesthetized, say for certain radiographs, most of the time post-ops, we try to keep people out of the rooms um, to reduce radiation exposure as much as possible. So we have um, little tricks of the trade that we like to use. Sandbags are extremely helpful. So instead of having someone hold the legs, you can simply sandbag the animals, such as so. Um, another thing we like to use is simple carpenter's tape. You can take a strip of it and tear you off a little piece. Say you're performing a radiograph on a hind limb. You can stretch that leg back and tape it to the table and then tape the bottom leg um, and that way you can have people out of the room. Obviously when they're awake um, you want to be aware of the animal's head mainly because you don't want anybody getting bit. So the person up at the front of the head needs to be the most aware of what's going on. The emotions of the animal per se, how they're acting to this environment because it can be a scary place if it's unfamiliar for them. Well we hope you enjoyed that video and on behalf of the entire peer team we wish you the best of luck with your educational endeavors. Don't forget to check out our website at peer.tamu.edu for other training videos and free resources. Thanks again and we hope to see you soon.